Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going on? Thank you so much for clicking the video. I'm Iris, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. We have the Pekka deck over here, and this is a really cool deck. I'll be doing here for some live attacks and just showing you how this deck actually will look. So, of course, we have the big card over here, the Pekka, who is, of course, a big tank, and, of course, a big threat for tanks and stuff. So, he's gonna act as a tank, and if you are coming across a tank, he's actually gonna help you take that tank down as well. So, Pekka is the main card over here. So, we do have the Baby Dragon to do the Area Splash, just in case they put in a Minion Horde, or maybe, uh, what is that, the Skeleton Army, or something like that, then definitely the Pekka cannot take them all down. And that's why we're actually taking in the Baby Dragon. The Ghost, again, will be doing Area Splash, but just 3 Elixir, it just does so much damage, and that's really... A cool card over here. We have the bats and the uh, spare goblins to do the distraction just in case they're coming in with uh, a big strategy. We actually need to distract and then we're gonna put in the packet to defend ourselves. So we do have the poison, of course, and the miner to do the extra bit of damage. The miner is gonna do, just, uh, do some chip damage and the poison is going to do some crazy bit of damage. And lastly, we do the, have the zap to just reset. Uh, the Sparky or something like that or maybe the Electro, not the Electro, the Inferno Dragon or maybe kill down the uh, Bats or something like that. So it's gonna really come in handy. So let's just get into some live attacks and let's just see how this deck is actually gonna work. Okay, yeah, so here are the live attacks. Let's just see what's gonna happen up in here. So we messed up with a fairly decent guy who is in no clan. <laughs> That's really nice. So he's coming up with these uh, Elite Barbarians. So we're gonna put in the P.E.K.K.A. to just defend ourselves and the P.E.K.K.A. is not gonna die on this case so I would say if the Pekka is not necessary you definitely don't want to drop him in unless it's really important you want to make sure that you're only dropping in the Pekka when it's actually required so I'm gonna drop in the bat I'm gonna zap these guys out in here make sure that we're actually clearing the down and we're gonna get that little bit of damage from the baby dragon and these bats as well so you put in the electro visit so I'm gonna put in the ghost and put in the the uh, no need to put in the spare goblins. I guess the ghost will be in a position, so we'll put in the miner over here and just make sure that the tower locks on to the miner while the ghost is actually going to do uh, some damage. No, it's not attacking the tower. No, 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 that's not what I'm looking for. For so we're gonna put in some uh, spare goblins and let's just uh, put in the bats over here. And the prince should be down. Hopefully, he does not. Yes, he does not take that over here so it's really nice so he's gonna put in the visit now so we're gonna put in the baby dragon hopefully and we'll deal with that so we need to put in the pekka at this point and oh my goodness I just misplaced my pekka should have dropped him a bit further but then I actually accidentally dropped him kind of a bit towards the back so if you have a decent level pekka then it's gonna really come in handy for you but then if you don't have a pekka not a big problem at all but then he'll just come in handy as well a level 3 pekka is more than enough so we're gonna put in the ghost and we're gonna put in this over here and oh my goodness this is gonna look like it's been trouble so we're gonna put in the zap right in there it did attack the giant skeleton oh my goodness that's a really bad attack over here he just gonna get that tower no don't say he's gonna get it oh my goodness that's just 81 so we need to go in hard on this guy and let's just see what's gonna happen so we're gonna put in the, the miner over here so we'll probably go in it's two uh, two x of elixirs this time we're gonna put in the baby dragon and uh, put in the ghost and then put in the pekka now so we have a big parade to come over here so we're gonna put in the pekka pekka's actually gonna do a big tank job over here so we're gonna put in the spare goblins put in the miner over here and just see what's gonna happen so just see the amount of hit points he's gonna have over here hopefully we're gonna get this you guys it's gonna be really close this one Oh my goodness, he puts in the Electro Visit. Oh my goodness, Rishab probably should be putting in the Poison over here. All of them are going to go down. And uh, Olga, oh yeah, all of them are going to go down. We just have a little bit of hit points left on the tower. Let's just see what's going to happen. He just has a little bit of tower hit points on mine. And we're going to put in the P.E.K.K.A. to just defend ourselves. We're going to put in the Bats over here as well. Hopefully he does not have the Visit or something that actually does the Area Splash. So that's a really bad move from this guy. Hopefully the Miner takes it. We're going to probably put in the Poison now. And let's just see what's going to happen. The Poison should be in a position to take that down. Uh, let's just see. This is going to be close, you guys. Okay, I think we might get it. Oh my goodness. Yes, we are. We definitely did get that, you guys. Yes, we did get it. Okay, so let's just get into another attack over here. Oh my goodness. The last one was really close. Now, I did have some replays, but then the maintenance break uh, just wiped all of them out. So, probably should be doing in some live attacks. So, we're messed up with the level 9 gap. But then the last replay was so damn awesome. 
that I just made it, almost made it you guys, the fact that he was really hard on me. So this one, I don't know how this is going to end up. Let's just see what's going to happen. I should have actually uh, saved up the videos, but then I couldn't do that. So we'll wait for the visit to actually lock onto the tower, and then we're going to put in the bats to just deal with that visit. It's just going to take in two shots, not a big problem, but then we're just going to get maybe one or two shots from those bats. Uh, we're gonna put in the spare goblins over here, put in the P.E.K.K.A. right over there, make sure, okay, the prince is actually in charge over there. So we're gonna put in the ghost and it's gonna be the bats that are actually gonna ruin up the raid over here. So we're gonna put in the bats right in here, hopefully we're not gonna zap it right now, no we're not. So we're gonna put in the uh, miner, no, let's just wait, uh, we'll put in the baby dragon over here to just deal with that. We'll put in the bats over here and the fact that my bats and spare goblins aren't being upgraded, I can upgrade it, but then I'm not upgrading it, so you should probably be doing that. It's really gonna help you. So, we're gonna zap the visit. Make sure that the visit is actually attacking uh, the. Uh, oh my goodness. So, we'll probably zap it out, and it's pretty much really good at this point. So, we're actually in the lead, and that's really nice. So, we'll probably put in the uh, ghost now, I guess. Or uh, we should probably go in with the Pekka, but then the Pekka, we need. Uh, another 25 seconds more so I would say don't put in the P.E.K.K.A unless it's a 2 elixir mark just bring in the huge push and let's just see what's gonna happen at this point so uh, we'll drop in the ghost and the ghost should probably do some area splash to the Valkyrie hopefully no he doesn't no my goodness oh no we'll put in the baby dragon over here and we'll just see uh, the kind of damage it actually does. So we're gonna put in the bats over here. Oh no, we're gonna put in the P.E.K.K.A. and then put in the bats. So the Valkyrie will be gone down over here. We'll put in the Ghost for this uh, Prince here. That's a really uh, clever move, but then we actually have something to defend over here. So we probably should be... No, I actually zapped it in the wrong way, the wrong place. So that's the big problem, you guys. That's the only big problem with this uh, huge guy over here. He does not uh do any bit good for uh oh my goodness we should probably defend ourselves there rather than going in from the other side so uh he's coming in with a huge push and the bats over here are literally killing us all down so we'll put in the bats and the bats should be taking it down the uh uh prince over here so we'll probably put in the miner and i don't have the rocket and that's the real big reason why i'm actually not able to put in that six elixir and do that massive bit of damage so it's gonna be a draw, I guess, this one. This was a really close one. So we're gonna put in the ghost over here. And then we're gonna put in the bats. Come on. Yes, we are actually gonna continue this one. Uh, we're gonna put in the P.E.K.K.A. over here. And we're gonna zap it before that. Okay, the Walker is almost dead. Uh, kind of made it on this side. So just see the amount of hit points we actually have over here. I just cannot do anything but just stay here and just watch that. How terrible is that? So it's again gonna come up with gods. And we're gonna probably put in the bats. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna put in the bats as well. So, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty much game over. He's not gonna let me do anything. We're not gonna let him do anything. So, it's gonna be a draw this one, I guess. Uh, I should have actually brought in the, uh, rocket. But then I kind of, uh, couldn't bring that down. Oh, my goodness. That's a really big mistake. So, we probably should be putting in the pack over here. This is gonna be the last push. I don't know, 17 more seconds. Let's just defend ourselves. So this is going to be in some trouble, I guess I'm going to be in some trouble, we have the ghost over here and now we're in a good position right now, uh, we'll probably have 8 more seconds and this was a really close fight, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, man, I should have actually won it if I actually did bring the rocket but then I couldn't bring it, so a big lesson lo uh, learned over here, make sure we bring in the rocket instead of the poison or if you actually like the poison then you can actually bring in, but then make sure you actually cycle through the miner again and again and make sure you actually do the tip damage and uh, that should probably get you the victory right off. So that was a pretty close one. I definitely did have some replays to show you guys. Some really cool attacks, really awesome strategy. But then I uh, the maintenance break just wiped that away. So uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. This deck will actually help you uh, go to Hog Mountain. It's the, card, the deck that I'm actually using right now. And I'm really uh, kind of doing good at this point. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Arisen. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, goodbye.